Hey Dana here, and welcome to my vlog. And this is a continuation of repairing my daughter's 010 Jeep Compass. Um, she said she had grinding noises, and unfortunately it's not. It's the anti-skid pump activating when she goes to stop. Um, my suspicion is when I put the bearing in, and not removing the anti-skid sensor that jammed against the inside of the bearing when I put the new one back in. And uh, I've already changed, as you saw in that other video, uh, uh, the other video there, I changed the anti-skid sensor and that's when it all started to happen. It has no, the vehicle has no anti-skid lights and it runs fine other than when she goes to stop and gets you know, about 30 miles an hour to really stop, the anti-skid pump comes on. So I'm at Wilbert's right now. I'm gonna go ahead and pull a whole strut um, with the bearing and the uh, uh, anti-skid cable if possible. Stay tuned. You never guess where I'm at. <laughs> My favorite place. Holy cow, look at this. Gotta figure out how to get through that river water. So I gotta go up this way, I gotta go. It's pretty deep. <laughs> Let's go this way. No. And looks like we're starting to get a little bit of water. Oh. Alright. Alright, we're done. Uh about an hour and a half because uh, of the fact I had to go to another vehicle because um, I couldn't get that freaking tie rod and to let go well it let go and I couldn't get it I couldn't get the nut off of it I had nothing to hold on to it um, so I found a 2009 uh, caliber um, the strut looks in really good shape probably two inners um, steering knuckle you know, you're not going to hurt that any but what I was looking at is how the um, hub looks really clean. Um, the anti-skid cable looks really clean. Um, springs are in good shape. There's no freaking rust on them, which is a lot of my garage. All right, today I'm gonna get this strut or start getting this strut off so I can get it uh, swapped out because we have a anti-skid issue and I'm thinking the uh, the pickup uh, I'll drop back um, when I replace the wheel bearing on this thing the old anti-skid pickup I believe was I believe when I used the uh, bearing tamer I pressed the sensor into the bearing and I think I warped the bearing uh, pickup inside the bearing um, no lights um, it's just when she goes to slow down starts to pump so for me to troubleshoot that I went to uh, as you see on the video I went to Wilbert's and I got a whole strut alright I got all carried away with trying to get that it's not gonna work the way I wanted it to um, so what did I do? I went and shine, I went and grinded it all down, turned it into a nut, and it just happens to be the same size when I got done with it as an 18. So there you go. That's what I should have done to begin with. Just do it that way. Don't even worry about it. Just grind it down, grind it down like a regular nut. Um, don't try and grind this. Don't even try and grind that down. Just. Uh, I mean try and cut that off of there just grind it straight in make a nut okay well I had a little trouble because all these freaking nuts broke loose on me and you gotta use something you gotta use two tools to loosen them up so um, that's a five uh, that's a five in an allen five in an allen um, that is a nine in a metric um, and that goes right over the top of that 
It's right over the top. And then use an 18. I used a, uh, you know, use it with an 18 or whatever. You're going to have to come over the top and hold on to it. And then hold it because that was spinning, spinning inside that. Normally, you can just come along because it's tight and just pop, uh, just whip that baby right off of there. Um, that's an 18. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm stuck at the moment. Um, I run out of time tonight. So um, just go ahead and what I use my uh, uh, earthquake uh, uh, electric ratchet. And then you're going to twist, you're going to tighten, you're going to set it so it's tightening like you would normally tighten a nut. And then uh, hold on to that with a 15, and then uh, it should screw it right out. And that's where I'm at right now. I got to do the uh, lower. Um, lower ball joint bolt. And then uh, um, I got to take... Got to take the caliper off, pull that 30, I believe that's a 31, 32 uh, nut on your drive shaft, and then shove that back through. Uh, those are 13s. You pop those real quick, and then you'll pop it out through the front. Pop that down, go up inside, and you pull those, uh, pull the uh, uh, plug apart, and then uh, it'll drop. It'll drop right out of there. Um, took me a little longer than I wanted because of that freaking. I know uh, that was clean when I put that bearing in there. Stud. So now I'm assuming that when yeah, I, I had to turn pulled right out the old pickup and I put the okay. new pickup in, back on this thing. when I cleaned it up, uh, I probably your pushed a lot of right rust here. and debris down through that hole. Right and that, that is a sealed right compartment. That's what's causing her to kick on. So I gotta get back on this, get that nut off of that, and get the uh, caliper, get the caliper released, bottom uh, ball joint release, lower ball joint, and then uh, these four. Four nuts up here, loose, and it'll drop down. And put the new one up. All right, here we are. Okay, pull the pull the caliper off together with everything just the way it is, um, and slid it off the um, rotor. Uh, those are 18s. I use a short for that. Pull the nut off of here. That is a 30. Um, a th Actually, it is a 30. Uh, give me a movie card key and your uh, little little lock with your little spring. It takes care of that. Um, you gotta undo your cable for your anti skid. It runs right on through that hole right there. Uh, bolts right here, along with this here. Hang that up so you don't you're not hanging it off your wire. Uh, your uh, off your hose um, pull your lower ball joint bolt with its nut that's also an 18 I use an 18 I use a one of the uh, curly your offset wrench all right so she's that's ready to let go um, I still got a nut up there so it's holding holding up when I go ahead and Push down on the uh, control arm. Okay, I found the best way to get that lower ball joint to let go is just put a uh, hit it with a small chisel to, sep to uh, spread that just a little bit, and then just put your uh, long pry bar in there, and it'll pop it down. All right. Well, I got the other. I got this off now. So this is what I found. See all that crap on there? And all of a sudden it comes over here and there's none on here? Well, that's what this thing is trying to pick up. It's trying to pick up this flush level area. And then all of a sudden you got all this crap over here and it's blocking the pickup. 
So that's what's, I think that's See, that can be cleaned up and sprayed with the brake, uh, brake cleaner. So you need to check that out. This is magnetic. Okay, this is where I'm at. Got my uh, lower ball joint in. Got the 18 uh, squeeze bolt in and, and uh, semi-tight. Um, got the tie rod bolt or tie rod back in, tightened up. Still need to torque it. Um, got the uh, sway, bar, uh, sway bar, um, sway bar link um, in and tightened up. And remember, that's got a uh, um, you got to hold. You're gonna have to hold this with a five uh, number five. Uh, actually, you're gonna go counterclockwise this way because you're pulling it back this way to get to a certain point when it locks up on the back, and then you can go ahead and hit it, um, hit it with a a torque wrench and get it torqued up uh let's see got my um hey everything back together everything's torqued it's like 40 that one's like 80 i got 180 on that one back ones are eight uh like 80 um so top ones are uh like 40 so double check your uh Manuals for your torques. Don't forget to do that. Right. I had to make sure my got my those hooked up. So uh, lower lower point, and then your uh, lower pinch bolt about forty somewhere in there. But double check again. Double check your tor uh, book. Tells you what it is. And then uh, go from there. Don't take my, don't take my advice for it. Just make sure everything's, make sure everything's tight. Okay, let's finish this up. All right, there's your tire bolts. Just type them uh, 35. Um, double check your book. Um, I just plugged in the cannon plug, so you don't lose them. <laughs> you gotta get them. All right, it's sitting a week now. Let's see. Looks like any nice skids are out. Ah, uh, hey, Dana. Hey, what my vlog? Well, I can shut this one down. Um, anti skid. No anti skid lights. Um, no grinding from the anti skid pump. So, that was a success with uh, swapping out a. A strut with the hub and everything together uh, from another used um, Jeep Compass. Um, as you saw in the video when I uh, when I got it from uh, Wilberts. So um, my conclusion is that the uh, bearing on the new the new bearing that I installed on that hub um, I'm thinking I damaged when I use the bearing tamer and I used and I did not remove the speed sense sensor um, I think I damaged that I think I shoved it I shoved the old one into the bearing into the back of the bearing where the uh, pickup a magnetic pickup is in the back of the bearing and I think I damaged that so um, don't do that get that freaking uh, pickup out of there get it out of the way before you put the new one in and then uh, you'll be all right so also another thing is when you go to put the back into the bearing